<laughs> what up, nerds? Welcome to Not Your Status Quo's review of Batman Hush. Please, if you like the video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, tell your friends, and ring that bell to be notified of future videos. We've done this dance for so long. Like the view? It's the only thing you'll catch tonight. We come to you, well, not live, from my apartment where we just watched Batman Hush. I, I, <clears throat> it's funny because at the same time right now I am reading this book. I'm reading the graphic novel. And there are some differences. Nothing major that would hurt the story if you, if you read the book. It's just some characters got swapped because I guess they may not have been introduced into the cartoon world. So um, overall, I thought it reflected the book really great, and I, I thought it was a great book. And um, I don't know, I, what do you guys think? I thought it was pretty good. Now, have you seen uh, any of the other animated movies before in this, uh, you know, kind of in this series? It depends. Are, are those Superman? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're all yes. part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, how did you think that it uh, matched up with some of the other ones that you've seen? I uh, well, uh, I thought it, it matched up pretty well. Uh, apparently, um, you have a differing opinion. No, no. no actually, no. I really enjoyed it. So far, um, I have I've said this before. I'll say it again. DC does animated movies really well. They always have. I think that's uh, that's kind of where they shine. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not as good as Batman v Superman, but <laughs> no, you can't beat that. You know, and I think the thing with this, I think my biggest fear coming into this was how convoluted of a tale Batman Hush is. It's, I think, 13 comic books, a lot of characters moving mm -hmm. in and out of this story, and I really was worried it was going to be rushed, because it's only 82 minutes, but I didn't feel that way at all. I think they did a no. great job of keeping the pace going, yeah. not being too slow, not being too fast, totally and I agree. think they totally pretty agree. much hit all the high points, and I mean, once again, I think they had a, it might be my favorite recent DC animated movie. I mean, I liked it better than Death of Superman and Reign of the Superman, mm -hmm. which oh, were both yeah. good, I agree. but I think this kind of elevated that just a bit. I agree. Yeah, I agree. This is definitely uh, trending upward. So I thought the voice actors were great. Whoever uh, did the voice direction, um, maybe we'll put that up on the screen or something. It'll be right, right here. Anyway, whoever did the voice direction, excellent work. That was great. I mean, um, I thought the Joker was fantastic. Uh, it's very hard when you've grown up watching, uh, you know, uh, Luke Skywalker as your Joker, mm -hmm. Mark Hamill. Um, I mean, it's hard to find a, a good replacement because he does such a good job. But uh, whoever it was in this movie, great work. They did a they had a great voice actress for Harley. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I was impressed by the by the flow, like what Keith was saying. Um, they they were. They just they kept me uh, they kept me involved. It was good. It was and they, very good. They seem to hit all the plot points. You haven't read the book, but not yet. I'm just gonna read it next. Yep. They just seem to hit all the same plot points in the book. They didn't skip over anything, and that's I guess that's why maybe I like it better because they did that in the Reign of Superman. They mm -hmm. skipped over a few things, and you know a few things were altered, but this was pretty much right on. All right. Yeah, you know, and uh, the Joker's monologue when Batman is fighting Clayface in the prison. Yeah, pretty was much pretty was worth the price of admission all by itself. <laughs> I mean, uh, it was hysterical. It was Joker. All the while, Batman is getting his ass whooped, basically. And it just so well done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so there it is. Uh, what are you, you going to give uh, ratings on this? It's a movie. Um, no Smallville comparisons. Yeah, it's not a TV show, so <laughs> Dave will not be rating it against Smallville. But, you know, I'm going to give it... Like an 8.9 out of 10. I really think they did a great job. The animation, I don't know if we talked about that. We talked about it while we were oh, watching it. Animation was very amazing. Good. Chris, yeah. voice yeah, acting was good. Characters were good. It stuck to the story very, you know, the source material yeah. extremely well. I can't recommend it enough. If you, you haven't seen it, yeah. go out and buy it and watch it right now. Yeah, uh, if you don't want to buy it, I mean, it's streaming all over the place. Check it out. You know, get it on iTunes. Uh, uh, get it on uh, get, get DC Streaming Service. Um, can't recommend that enough. There's some great shows on there. Um, they're not sponsoring us. They should. I know they're watching. Thank you, DC. <laughs> That's right. Um, the DC Universe. Get it. Get it. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely, uh, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, the animation was clean. It was great. The fight choreography was really good. Um, there was a couple of scenes where, uh, I mean, obviously this is animated, but still, it looked like, like they were incorporating 
uh, camera angles or something. I mean, it was just, it was good. And like I said, I love the voice work. I mm-hmm. uh, can't wait to read the graphic novel to see like uh, how close it uh, it does match up with it. But I did enjoy the twist in the movie. Um, yeah. Bravo. I, I, I'm going to go with you guys. I'd say 9 out of 10. Maybe 9.1, just to keep that trend going. <laughs> <laughs> it's trending upward. Right, it is. exactly. Yeah, good movie. And I agree with all your assessments. So I don't know. I don't have anything else. You know, just one, one last thing that kind of made me... The fight scene between Superman and Batman. Yeah. They really displayed Superman's power very well using the animation. I mean, he was intimidating. He was being mind control. Spoiler. He was being <laughs> mind controlled by Poison Ivy. And you just really, she said, kill them, and he kind of came like, full on, things. and it was very intimidating and scary. Really mm-hmm. showed Superman at his at the height of his power. Have you noticed that in uh, these movies, they really uh, show the power behind his heat vision? I mean, um, I I like the old Superman animated series from the '90s. It was good, but it always just it didn't seem all that powerful. In these uh, past couple of movies, I mean, it looks deadly. And uh, I don't know if that's just uh, whatever effect they're doing with with the animation, but it's good. I, I like it. I also have a couple things to say. Um, that um, Jeff Loeb is the one who wrote the book. He wrote the graphic novel. You know, he's in charge of um, the TV shows for Marvel. I didn't know. Oh, is he? Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing. He did, let's drag Smallville into it, he did some uh, Smallville episodes <laughs> as well. And so for would you say they were the best Smallville episodes? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would. I have a few picked out, but I don't know if he actually directed them or uh, wrote them. Well, excellent. Thanks, everyone, for uh, coming out. We'll talk to you all soon.